We're gonna brew a pale ale. I've got the simple recipe, and this is the complex recipe. So same beer, but completely different ingredients. Let's see the difference. So I'm Caleb Whiteneck and I have Psych Doc Brewery. I'm a psychiatrist and I've been brewing for about 13 years. So this is the 20 gallon spike solo system. And normally I brew bigger batches, uh, but this is a five gallon batch. And although you can do that with the basket, we're gonna go back to the old grain bag and, and pull it and go from there. Now I'm brewing three gallons and I'm using my one 10 volt claw hammer system and uh, ready for mashing this in. So let's get this in. Even though I'm on the road here, still got the whisk. So you're gonna be mashing this in at 152 Fahrenheit and gonna be doing that for about an hour. Okay, here we go. No whisk for me. All right, all done. Let's wait an hour. My brewery has grown uh, significantly over the years. Uh, started out on a kitchen pot on the stove and now I have the spike brewing 20 gallon uh, system and I absolutely love it. So uh, just like Martin, I, I kind of wanted to have everything here uh, so that if I wanted to brew, I could just wake up and brew. So I've got my grain, my mill, I've got yeast storage uh, and, and all the uh, water additives and things like that. And so I can basically wake up and brew if I want to. It's a lot of fun. We wanted to try these two different beer recipes. So I'm gonna read out mine and uh, you know, I've got the piece of paper because this is very difficult. The, uh, the recipe for this pale ale in the mash is 100% Marisata, that was it. Um, so we figured that would give you know, a little bit of biscuity character to, to support the hops that we're gonna add in. But that's it. Now, how about you? So mine's a little more complicated and we, we made it complex on purpose. Like we just wanted to go over the top with specialty malts. So base is two row, then we have some biscuit, caramel 20, caramel 80, Kara Red, Munich malt, special roast, acid malt, and carafils. So we just wanted to throw a whole bunch of different specialty malts in, trying to still keep it pretty light. So still an SRM of uh, 10.8, uh, but just see what how it was different. So normally on the Spike Solo system, I'll lift the basket out. It has little clips that you clip on the back. Uh, being that we're doing brew in a bag, I just hooked up uh, with my mash paddle and let it drain that way. All right, so we're gonna do a uh, half uh, ounce of Centennial at 60 minutes. A precise half, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly a half. So for my first hop addition, I'm using Cascade and I am using another scientific half an ounce at 60 minutes for this one. Next edition is half an ounce of Cascade. My 20 minute hop edition is the rest of this Cascade packet. It's another half an ounce. We're gonna whirlpool now. We have half an ounce of Centennial, half an ounce of Cascade, and a whole ounce of Chinook. We're gonna whirlpool at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Now for my whirlpool, well, just using Cascade. So this is a single hop beer. Uh, I've got two ounces of Cascade. This is down to about 180 Fahrenheit. Um, I'm just recirculating just to keep things moving around in here. And I'm gonna add these directly into the kettle. So the beer is done and we're ready to chill it. So. We're gonna run it through our counterflow chiller. We have cold uh, water coming in the bottom and then out the top. And then we're gonna have hot wort coming in the top and then cold wort coming out the bottom. So run it nice and slow. So that's how that works. 
Now my 20 minute whirlpool is done. I am just gonna transfer this into my already sanitized keg and uh, bring it home so I can put it in my fermenter. I'm not gonna bother chilling it. Gravity is actually about 1059. It's a little higher than we 10 expected. 1059. My uh, boil off was probably more than expected. Perfect. So it is definitely lighter than the complex recipe. 1052. We're ready for yeast. So this is Y yeast 1056, American ale. Warts at about 73 degrees. And there we go. That's it. Welcome to the, uh, the tasting room. Yeah, it's awesome. We've got our two beers here. They look pretty different. Absolutely. Very clear difference. So we have the simple glass mm -hmm. and the more reflex glass. Yeah, that's right. Complex glass. This is pretty golden, the simple, which is, I think, what we were expecting. Yeah, that's a smash lighter. beer, basically. A smash yeah. beer, right. But this one is really a sort of a, a copper color. Yeah, it's amazing how much those specialty malts really really changed the look. Yeah. Uh, I, it's actually a little bit darker than I expected, uh, to be honest. You can smell the, smell the hops. It smells more malty, it right? Does, does it not? Yes. Yeah, it definitely does. Well, should we get into it? Yeah, which one should we try first? Oh, definitely the simple. Simple first, yeah, yeah. all right. All right, cheers. Cheers. I think it's living up to its name. Right? I think so. Yeah, it's no. simple, isn't it? There's not much going on. You've got a bit of the hot bitterness for sure. Yeah, it's a nice, nice body, yeah. nice light body. Nice body. I think yeah. you uh, you said that it finished at uh, 10, 15? 10, 11. Oh, 10, 11. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a very pleasant, drinkable beer, I think. Yeah. So, so I am so curious yeah. to try <laughs> a uh, ridiculously <laughs> complex recipe. Yeah. Just overly complex. Just for fun. Will we be able to pick out all of those specialty molds? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chance. All right, let's give try it. Try. It. All right, I'm excited. Oh wow, yeah, very different. Um, we're definitely malty. Yeah, a little bit of roast, but not over over the top. There is more of a roasty character kind of to this. Caramel. Yes. Uh, almost yeah. like toffee. Yeah. So the the difference in malt bill is like just astonishingly yeah. different. Drinks about the same. Uh, mine came out a little bit higher uh, on the final gravity, I think, just because of all the complex malts and, and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Uh, but I think they actually ended up, because mine was a higher original gravity, they actually came out about the same alcohol. Yeah, I think mine was 5.2 and yours was... 5.5. Uh, 5.5, okay, so... Yeah, yeah very close from, from the alcohol perspective. I feel like there's a little bit of uh, grapefruit that's not on the simple. Maybe coming from the Centennial. So what's your pick? They are completely so different. So different. <laughs> so different. Um, yeah. I think hot summer afternoon. Oh yeah. That's just like lawnmower beer. Lawnmower beer. No oh, man. Absolutely. Or pool, you know, uh, pool beer. Yep. Yep. And then uh, sitting down dinner then I would pick this because there's it's much more refined. It's yeah. got much more of a sort of interesting taste. Now, Caleb, you're not just a beer guy, you're a coffee guy too. Oh, definitely. So we have a pretty interesting video that you are also in. Yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to roast coffee on an electric roaster, the Be More 3000. Yeah, so check that video out. And uh, I don't know how we do the cheers here. Uh, both, I <laughs> Double guess. <-handed>. Double fisted. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.